My punky ply him and stop him for attention. He's trying to get into Michael's conversation. And he sounds like ultimate shit. Listen to his audio. Uh, uh, you could tell him when you're here because say, Richie must have did that radio. Oh, huh, punky. Hey Mike, hey Mike, listen to Punky Pie and man, Richie must have did his radio, huh? Yeah. Richie, what you do to his radio, Richie? He sounds all muffled and, and crackly. That's alright, that's alright. He's gonna blame it on me. That's all he's gotta do is tell them I did that radio, they'll never wanna come to me. Anybody on the CV he wants to rest your jawbone? Oh, poor Punky. Mike, are you taking him out to Chinese food too? Yeah, we'll take him. I'll invite him. I don't think Johnny Rack could make it. Uh, he's going to be working double shifts uh, for two weeks. That's a shame. But we'll have to have another one when he comes back. But uh, yeah, the Brooklyn guys got to do a little bonding.
and just keep them low and turn them up when you need it. That's what I would do if I had it.
Ryan. I wish he was here to bother me. I'm juiced up. Sound like he's sitting here talking to himself. <laughs> ah, what are you gonna do? Ah, it's all good. It's all good. The boys in Brooklyn, boys standing out with the wave. 148 up in the Boogie Down Bronx. Checking your mail. Tell you the truth, Mike. I wish I still had my own apartment uh, at the old house, man. I was over there the other day. That day when I swung by. And I, I miss. Thank you. 
house back 15 feet, and I had my own parking spot. 10-4. Yeah, 10-4, man. Yeah, I remember back in the early 70s, man, even if there wasn't a block party, the old-timers would sit outside with their beach chairs and drink coffee and smoke cigarettes. You know, it was great, man. The neighborhood was great back then. Yeah, it was the goods. They could walk to school without being taken. I had an Amber Alert on my phone yesterday and the day before that a child was taken out of Brownsville. They had the, uh, the make of the vehicle and the vehicle's license plate.
20-something minutes. Talk about being on a Johnson. Oh, my. Well, he was waiting for Richie for 20, 25 minutes. He sat by that microphone with his hand on the mic, waiting for Richie to talk. As soon as Richie keyed up, boom, pie hole right there. Talk about being on somebody's Johnson. He didn't come on for a week when he said that uh, he was touching his ass and he was thinking of somebody. Some guy. He didn't come on for a whole week. But uh, yeah, Johnny's got a point. But I don't know, John. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you're right. You're right. 100%. There's, there's no taking away from from what you said. But uh, sometimes I enjoy the madness. You know, it gets my blood pumping. I like that. I'm going to go off another double espresso in a little while. Maybe I'll make a, a latte. Yeah, I'll make one for me and my wife. We'll put the cinnamon, a little bit of cocoa on it. I use Splenda, she uses sugar. We sit at the table, talk about the day, and sip on lattes. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm the super in this big building with the two antennas on the top. So they got me. They got me. Anthony Rizzo. They got me, but nobody's coming to get me. They want to start with me, yell and scream and tell me. 